A warm welcome to all my dear students. In your previous class, we have started a new chapter that is measurement weight. So in this chapter, we will be learning about the next quantity that is weight. So in the previous chapter, which type of measurement you have learned? We have learned length. So in this chapter, we will be learning about weight. So yesterday we discussed. I mean, the in previous class we have discussed how weight is measured. We saw beam balance. We saw spring balance. We saw digital weighing machine. Remember? Yes. So those things are used to measure weight. So here we are using two units to measure weight. One is. Kilograms or kg. The other one is grams or g. So grams is uh, represented with a small g. Take down few points to remember. Write today's date. Write down the chapter name. That is measurement weight. Finished? Yes. Leave one line and write down points to remember. So points to remember. So weight is expressed in kilograms and grams. So in order to express weight in terms of numbers, we use two units of weight. One is kilogram and the other one is Gram, right now. First point, weight is expressed. Weight is expressed in kilograms. What is the short form used for kilograms? Yes. Kg or what is the other unit of weight? Grams. Very good. G R A M S. Grams. So it is denoted with small letter G. So weight is expressed in kg or gram. Gram or grams. Kg or gram. So these are two units of weight which we will be using in this chapter. So write down second point. Leave one line and write down second point. To convert Kg to gram. To convert Kg to gram. That is to convert kilograms to gram. Multiply by thousand. Multiply by thousand. If you are converting kgs, that is kilograms to grams, you have to multiply by thousand. So you can write one kg is equal to one into thousand. If I am converting kg to grams, I have to multiply by 1000, right? So here I have 1 kg. So what I write? I write 1 into 1000. So what is 1 into 1000? Yes, it is 1000 itself. So 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams. So 1 kg is equal to how many grams? 1000 grams. So these are the two units which we are using in weight to measure weight we are using kilograms or grams and to convert kilograms to gram we multiply by thousand you should keep this in mind so multiply by thousand underline this and one kg is equal to one thousand grams is it clear yes see when we are purchasing sesame seeds or mustard seeds will use, will measure those things, will purchase those things in grams. So we will purchase those things in small.
small quantities, right? You will purchase mustard seeds in kgs. You will purchase five to ten kgs of mustard seeds. No, right? You will take in grams. Hundred grams of mustard seeds you may purchase, or two hundred grams you may purchase. So you will take only small amount of mustard seeds, right? So small unit of weight is expressed in grams. So small unit of weight is expressed in grams. For example, if you are taking chilies, you will take hundred grams, two hundred grams, two fifty grams, right? Or else you will purchase five kg, ten kg green chilies. No, right? So you will take in a small amount. So small amount if you are purchasing, you will be purchasing in grams. So the smaller unit of weight is grams. So your next point is. smaller unit of weight is expressed is expressed e x p r e s s e d expressed smaller unit units of weight is expressed in grams is expressed in grams that is small g for example mustard seeds you will purchase mustard seeds sesame seeds right you will much purchase in grams so like mustard seeds m u s t a r d mustard seeds sesame seeds then what else cheese etc so these things will purchase in a small quantity so it is expressed in terms of grams okay so imagine you are going to purchase rice so if you are going to purchase rice You will go to shopkeeper and you will ask. You may ask one kg rice or for five kg or ten kg rice. Or else you will purchase in grams. No right. You will purchase in a larger quantity. So larger quantity of weight is expressed in kgs. So you may purchase five kg rice, two kg rice or ten kg. Or you may purchase twenty five kg. It depends on your requirement, right? So large quantity of weight is expressed in kg or kilograms is it clear yes write down four point greater units of weight of weight is expressed e x p r e s s e d is expressed in kilograms it is expressed in kilograms k i l o g r a m s that is kg short form is kg so when you are expressing weight in a smaller amount that is in a smaller unit you will use grams Whenever you are purchasing or you are expressing weight in a larger scale or in a huge quantity, you will use kg or kilograms. Is it clear? Underline the words greater kilograms, smaller grams. Underline? Yes. So to convert kg to grams, what we do? We'll multiply by thousand. So what we'll do? We'll multiply by Thousand. Is it clear? Understood? Okay. Next, we shall see few problems on this. There are some exercise problems wherein you will be converting kgs to grams. Okay, we'll do that. So to convert kg to gram, what we'll do? We'll multiply by thousand. You should remember this. To convert kg to gram, we'll multiply by thousand is it clear yes okay. 
write down after this leave one line if you have space in that page continue there itself or else start from new page exercise 12.1 it is in page number 49 so it is in page number 49 so first write down heading heading is not here in your textbook so write down heading as find the following find it is not there in the textbook don't get confused you just write down the heading as find the following
विरोधी क्वेश्चन लीव वन लाइन एंड राइट द आंसर आई टोल्ड यू नो आफ्टर ईच क्वेश्चन लीव वन वन लाइन एंड राइट द आंसर आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग ईच आंसर लीव लाइन गो टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइन ओके सो वी जस्ट केम टू नो दैट 7 kg व्हेन इट इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू ग्राम्स इट इज नथिंग बट 7000 ग्राम्स व्हाट इज लेफ्ट आउट Now we have to convert 7 kg 850 grams to grams. So now we we'll do that. So 7 kg 850 gram is equal to what I should do? Just now we have converted 7 kg to grams. So 7 kg is nothing but 7000 grams. So I'll write the value of 7 kg. That is 7000 grams. Plus, here it should add. So we will use plus sign. Don't forget, here we will use which sign? Yes, plus sign. So if we are using plus sign, which mathematical operator you do? Yes, addition. So what is left up? Eight fifty grams. So it is already in grams. So we will not do anything. We will write as it is. So eight fifty grams. So now what you have to do? Yes, we have plus sign. So we have to. Add. So what is seven thousand grams plus eight fifty grams? Yes, seven thousand eight fifty. If you're not getting, I do it here. See, seven thousand grams plus eight fifty grams. So by writing the next number, what you do? You write from the ones place. So zero five eight eight fifty grams. So by writing The next number start from ones place. Start from right side. Is it clear? Yes. So we are adding. So gram is say what is zero plus zero? Zero. What is zero plus five? Very good. Five. What is zero plus eight? Eight. What is seven plus zero? Seven. So what is the answer? Yes. Seven thousand eight hundred and fifty grams. So seven kg, eight fifty gram is nothing but seven thousand eight hundred fifty grams. This completes your answer. One thing you have to keep in mind that you should not convert the number which is with the grams. So you are just eight fifty grams. So it's already in grams. So what we will do? What is there in kg? That we will convert to grams, and remaining we will add. So we just added here. We converted seven kg to grams, that is seven thousand, and remaining was eight fifty grams. So I added plus eight fifty. So seven thousand plus eight fifty grams is seven thousand eight fifty grams. So seven kg eight hundred and fifty grams is nothing but seven thousand eight hundred and fifty grams. Is it clear? Very good. Yes. Okay. Next we shall. Move on to exercise twelve point two. Okay, there here there are few sums wherein you will add the weights. So we'll be adding the given weights. Do your homework regularly, children, and keep practicing. So we completed exercise twelve point one. So next is twelve point two. Write down, leave one line after this, and write down exercise twelve point two. In page number fifty one. So in page number fifty one. First name. Add the following. So add the following. Here we will be adding of the weights. Here we will be adding the weights and we will be writing as U 
Yes. Okay. First question. After heading, leave one line and write down the line. first question. 42 kg plus 58 kg. Simple. 42 kg plus 58 kg. So likewise we have done in that chapter. Here also first we will be writing the unit. So here the unit is kg. So I got kg. So what is 2 plus k? 10. 0, 1 carry. Right? 0, 1 carry. 1 plus 4, 5. Very good. 5 plus 5, 10. So your answer is 100 kg. Is it clear? Yes. Next question. 120 kg plus 45 kg. So here first we will write the unit. So unit is kg. So I wrote kg. What is 0 plus 5? 5. What is 2 plus 4? 6. What is 1 plus 0? 1. So 1 kg. Now next we shall move on to the second. So third question. So you can continue one after the other. So first question, leave a line, write next question, leave a line and continue. Okay. 150 kg plus 240 kg. So what will you do first? Yes, we we'll write the unit. So kg, what is 0 plus 0? 0. What is 5 plus 4? Very good, 9. What is 1 plus 2? 3. So, 390 kg is your answer. So, it is very easy, right? Yes. Leave one line. Write down fourth question. 57 kg, 126 grams plus 39 kg, 245 grams. So, 59 kg, 126 grams plus 39 kg, 245 grams. So, first what we write? Grams. So, we will start from right side no and we will move from right side. So, first we will write the unit which is given grams. First, 6 plus 5. What is 6 plus 5? Yes, very good. 11. So, 1 plus, 1 word, 1 can. So, what is 1 plus 2? 3. 3 plus 4? 7. Very good. Next. What is 1 plus 2? 3. Next. What do I have to write? Very good. Kg. So 7 plus 9. What is 7 plus 9? Yes. Very good. 16. 6. 1. Carry. So what is 1 plus 5? 6. 6 plus 3? Very good. 9. So answer is 96 kg 371 grams. 96 kg 371 grams. Don't forget you should add from right side. Okay. Next question. Fifth question. 136 kg 240 grams plus 27 kg 126 grams. So we have to add this. So first what we will write? Very good. G. So G is nothing but grams. What is 0 plus 6? 6. Very good. What is 4 plus 2? 6. What is 2 plus 1? 3. Next what I should write? Very good. Kg. Next. What is 6 plus 7? 30. Very good. So 6 plus 7 is 30. So 3. 1 carry. So what is 1 plus 3? 4. What is 4 plus 2? 6. What is remaining here? 1. You should not forget this one. 1 is there. No? 1 is left out. So 1. 
1 plus nothing means 0. So, 1 plus 0 is 1. So, 163 kg, 366 grams. The last question in this main, that is sixth question is 324 kg, 360 grams plus 112 kg, 6 grams. So, where I should write 6? In which place? Uh, in one's place. So, 6 I should write below 0. So, 6 grams. So, what we are doing? Addition. So, we will write plus sign. Is it clear? So, 6 should be written in one's place below 0. So, which unit I should write? Yes, gram. So, what is 0 plus 6? Six? 6. What is 6 plus 0? Six. 6. Nothing but it is 0, no? 6 plus 0 is 6. What is 3 plus 0? 3. Next, what I should write? Very good. Here, G. What is 4 plus 2? Very good. 6. Then, 2 plus 1? 3. 3 plus 1? 4. So, what is the answer? Very good. Yes. 436 kg, 366 grams. Thank you.